Hey guys, Monko here, and I'm back. Um, I apologize to everybody. Um, I've been in New Zealand for the last three weeks, which has been excellent. Put my feet up, it was very nice. Um, I was over there with my mum's family, and I'd like to apologize to my 50 odd subscribers. I was going to announce it, but I couldn't really be bothered. But uh, yeah, so what you see before you is one of the first gameplays I got jumping right back onto my computer, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna record some Soldier, it's gonna be exciting. So uh, this is the map PL Thunder Mountain. And there's some things I do and don't like about this map, but I'll get into that later. And, uh, yeah. Now my loadout for this gameplay is the Strange Rocket Launcher, the Buff Banner, and the Disciplinary Action. And I use the Rocket Launcher a lot for obvious reasons. I try to use the Buff Banner where I can, and I don't really utilize the, uh, Disciplinary Action very often. Only because I'm not really used to equipping it. But yeah, um, the Buff Banner has been recently added to festive quality. So you can, um, those were available in the crates during the update, which I completely missed. <laughs> Hopefully sometime in the future I can do some commentary on those uh, new weapons that were released, which is the Loose Cannon, the Vaccinator, and... What was the third one? I've forgotten it. Um, Alright, let's see. Well, there was the Vaccinator, there's the Loose Cannon, and... Uh, uh, sniper weapon? No. Soldier weapon? Probably not. Ah yes, it was the new engineer weapon, the Rescue Ranger. So yeah, I'll probably do a video in a couple of those if you guys are interested. So anyway, back to the gameplay. I'm doing a pretty solid effort um, up in this top area, just watching over their spawn. And uh, just a little tip, if you find a little area like this or somewhere that's working out for you, just abuse it until it doesn't work. I think that's something that people aren't willing to do. They always try different stuff. I think if something's working for you, just do it until it doesn't work. That's just a little tip I use anyway. So I'm serving as a pretty good distraction. I figured it might be a little bit more valuable if I push the cart. I didn't check my back and I get taken out by the stem man and fly through the air. Now that is why you enable ragdolls. Now just a couple of words um, before the round finishes up. Um, I'd just like to discuss this map a little bit. There's some things I do and don't like about this map. Now this map does play very similar to the other payload maps in Team Fortress and that is if you're playing on blue it really promotes you for being alone and sort of flanking and doing what you can to find the sore spots in the in the enemy's defense line. I think that's something very important, especially with your playing soldier. Soldier is one of the best one-on-one -on -one classes. A lot of other classes can't perform quite as well in so many different varieties as the soldier can. So I'm just taking advantage of that. I've found this little area and I just sort of camp, if you will. I set up a tent and I just go to town on the enemy and there's nothing they can do. I'm in their blind spot. And um, I've got a health pack here to regenerate. Just If you're playing blue, find stuff like this to abuse. And you'll find that you can live a lot longer if you play this sort of, this sort of mindset in Team Fortress. Now, some things I don't like about Thunder Mountain. I, I actually really enjoy this stage. This is the first stage, I believe, of Thunder Mountain. I think this plays very evenly on both sides. And it has a, a far better feel than some of the others. I feel like the other stages can be very difficult particularly in a public sort of atmosphere, not that I play any competitive, but I feel like if the blue team doesn't successfully push out at the start and red sets up a good defense line, it's basically an impenetrable wall. I just find it so difficult. And you'll see, once once red sets up a, a sentry and it's got teleports and things, it's very hard to push out. And um, that's one of the things that where it does suffer. It feels like you have to be very aggressive as the blue side, you have to have medics and you have to have engineers to get um, to transport everybody quickly. Keep in mind this is just my opinion. Um, this, I, do, I do think this is a very great map but in, in some aspects um, it can be a little bit challenging. So we do in fact win the round and I get MVP which is very flattering considering I haven't been playing much and that's going to take us right into the second round and here you'll see I'm actually using the disciplinary action, I'm just helping people get to their stations and get prepared and get G'd up, ready to attack the red side. And um, I will say, I was having a challenging time myself, let alone my horrible team. And um, yeah guys, you have to put the team in Team Fortress. I was considering quitch switching classes, but I thought, nah, I'd probably just stay as soldier because I feel it's more educational for you lovely people. So what I like to do on this map if I'm playing blue, I like to push up onto this right side. You can usually go quite easily, just stroll along, and you can get really great eyes on the entire enemy team. 
and there's a whole regeneration station. Wow, that sounds amazing. Can I coin that phrase? From now on, if there's a health pack and an ammo box put together, that is now a regeneration station. Anyway, apparently a regeneration station isn't enough for me to survive the bullets of a sentry, so I break my knees. So here, I decide to take a different approach on the sentry. Guys, if you're, if you're trying to take out sentries, or there's some particular objective that you feel needs to happen in order for your team to win, try different approaches. If you die doing it one way, try another. So here, I'm just trying to unload my clip on this sentry, and it's just not getting me anywhere. Um, there's an NG behind there repairing it as I shoot, so that's just not going to work out very well. Usually, I think four rockets directly at a sentry would take it out. And here I spot a little spy, and notice I don't shoot him straight away. And this is a really great habit to have. A lot of dead ringer spies like to get in the faces of soldiers, so do not shoot at once. And notice I had a little under half health. Um, it's, be it's best not to risk that sort of stuff, because regardless of if you're using the gunboats or not, it will deal the same amount of damage to yourself. So it's not going to work if I take out that sentry on the left side, so here I push up onto the right, and I have this cute little pocket. I find a nice little angle here, and this medic does in fact walk in front of me, I don't worry about aiming at him. And um, I know it's a bit difficult, but try not to have too much tunnel vision when you're dealing with sentries, because here I wasn't paying very much attention, and that spy gets an easy backstab on me, and uh, that's just unfortunate. So on to our next life, I'm getting very desperate, my team is getting very desperate, we just want to get rid of the sentry, it's being a bloody nuisance. So I shoot it here, I get a little bit of splash damage, so I know there's definitely people on the other side, along with teleporters and stuff. I get hit by that demo man, so I jump back here for some health. And now he's setting a little trap for me, he knows my pattern, he knows the way I think. So I'm just going to duck around here, out of the view of that sentry, and I'll see what I can do from behind. And this is something I probably should have done earlier, because now it's eating away at the time, and look at all that lovely hit markers, oh man. So everything is mayhem behind here, there's spies, there's fire, lots of shit's going down, I get a nice crit there. So I whip out the old buff mana, ready to do a wipe of that sentry nest, and here I just... <sighs> I made some really stupid decisions in this video. Um, I only uploaded it because I was quite desperate to upload, I haven't really uploaded to YouTube in that long and I thought it would be a nice gesture. So here I burn to my death, and that's just embarrassing, this is YouTube for God's sakes. Anyway, okay, so now my team, we're just pulling out our hair with despair. That rhymed. Got the rhymes. MC Munkle in the house. <laughs> Alright, so we finally get that sentry out. I just survived with one health here. And it's ridiculous. These engineers were so eager and greedy. They were actually building again. Like, they're rebuilding their sentries right there. This guy in the left even gets a level 3 up. It's ridiculous. So I'm here, I'm getting some nice splash left and right. Get the kills, Munkle. MC Munkle. Alright, I got that out of my system, guys. Back to normal. Back to my dweeby self. So I got 51 health here, just waiting around for some health. Not sure what to do. That medic's not healing me. So I figured I'd just run back to spawn. So let's do that. So, jump back into the action, finally have an opportunity to use this buff banner, kill this dumb scout, look into the room not only to find a sentry and a sniper, and the sentry is doing work on our team, and it's just getting downright annoying, I had no faith in my team whatsoever. So I grab the health, jump back, see what I can do, get some more splash. So a lot of different people would do different things in this situation. I was a little bit impatient, um, there was a line for the health and I figured oh, I'd probably just rocket jump back to spawn. So here I was practicing my kamikaze in the local river and um, I drowned, which isn't great. So anyway, jumping right back in, finally there's an opportunity for my team to do justice. Um, there's not a nest, we can actually push the payload a little bit. And um, Here I find this pesky soldier, get a rocket on him. So I'm going to swing back for some health and um, get a little cheeky kill on Miss Nefarious there. Did not see that coming. And actually whip my teammates there. Just wanted to make a little note of that. And uh, here, I think I made a little bit of a nice play. This is one of the highlights of the round. I figured that I'd just jump right in there, go balls to the wall, get a nice pick on that demo man. And apparently I'm dominating him, which is always nice. So I run into the soldier here. He plays it safe. He runs away. And um, 
Yeah. <laughs> I check everywhere behind me to my side, but not in front. I get taken out by the soldier. So moving right along, I've pushed myself behind the enemy team. I'm seeing what I can do. And now I was just a little bit tired, you know, jet lag and everything like that. <laughs> and um, this is kind of just a compilation of my poor deaths. And um, I actually sneak up on this engineer here. And this was kind of funny. I actually get the sentry to kill the engineer and run away with three health. I do a little victory dance in the corner here. And of course, just to top it all off. So here I peek around the corner trying to get rid of that sentry, but that's not going to work out for me because I'm just horrible. Into my next life is quite a few lives just because I'm utterly woeful. Get a cheeky crit here. Boom. And I'll turn the corner, save my med. Things are looking up. And, um,. This is something, always always value the medic on the team, even if he's not a very good one. I'm trying to get this medic to collect the health, but he does in fact kill himself in the process. So as you can hear from the announcer, the game is in fact coming to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed it, I've had a lot of fun with this commentary. And happy holidays to everybody, um, I didn't get to mention that before. So yeah, like and subscribe for more content. Alrighty, see you guys.